Hello friends and welcome back to my channel All Things Trip 47. Bienvenidos and thanks so much for clicking on this video and being here. Today is the second day of the winter event. So it started yesterday and I'm super excited. It is my favorite event of the year in Star Trek Online. You get to go to Q's Winter Wonderland, do some winter themed activities there and start gaining some points and daily progress towards a new ship. Every year during the winter event, we get a new ship and also in the summer event. So this year we have a ship called, actually let's go ahead and look for it right here. If we go to open mission journal, if we go to events, go down to seasonal and then winter, you'll be able to see the ship highlighted right here. We got the Temerian D Space Cruiser. This is a ship from the next generation. It is actually a cannon ship. And the Temerians are a species that they talk kind of uh, funny. <laughs> they use descriptive ways of, dis of, of talking about something or past experiences. Um, I believe the episode that you can find this ship in is called Darmok. Uh, from the next generation. I'm not sure which season, but if I find that later, I'll go ahead and I'll put it right here in a subtitle or something like that. So yeah, this is a interesting looking ship. It's kind of plain actually. Um, this is plain because it probably was this plain in the actual episode. So I know that here in Star Trek Online, they always try to match it up as close as possible to what was seen on screen. So I'm sure that this is very close, if not one to one to what was on screen. They might have taken actually a few liberties here or there, but but I, I doubt they did too much of that. Um, usually they, they try to stick pretty close to what's on the screen. So it is not a very impressive looking ship, at least in my opinion. It's kind of a plain looking ship and... Uh, Oh, it doesn't look that sleek to me, but that being said, it does look like it's going to be a pretty decent tier six sh ship to play around with. And you could change the looks a little bit by adding something like a uh, vanity shield or just changing the colors within the game or the whole material types. You can do that within the game. So now you won't be able to switch out parts because there's no other ship in the game that is actually related to this ship specifically so it'll look the exact same shape but you could change the colors and things like that so still make it look probably a little bit maybe a little bit better i don't particularly that's my opinion i don't particularly like the look of it right here but um let's go ahead and close out of that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go to q's winter wonderland so let me show you how to do that quickly it doesn't matter where you are in game you can reach Q's Winter Wonderland from wherever you're at. Right now I'm in space somewhere in the Alpha Quadrant, I believe. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, see I'm in the Deneb sector. So I'm nowhere near Deep Space Nine. And I think Earth Space Dock is on the other side here in the Beta Quadrant. But um, I can't go there anyways because my, my character is KDF aligned. So I'm not allowed to go to Earth Space Dock. I have to go to either Konos or to Deep Space Nine. But in Konos or in Earth Space Dock, what you're going to see is basically a throne <laughs> with Q sitting on it. You can go to him and he'll take you to uh, his Winter Wonderland, but it doesn't matter where you're at. Just go up here to the open mission journal and right here you'll see under event that it says Q's Winter Wonderland. You click on this button that says join or another way you get there is by going to events under seasonal winter. You could transwarp. So let's just do it. The easiest way because the first thing you'll probably see is this overview go to join and look at that Q just transports us <laughs> so we're gonna load into Q's Winter Wonderland and here we are we're in this uh, kind of a uh, I guess it's like icy ice and glass dome structure in the middle of Q's Winter Wonderland right here you can see a hologram of this year's ship with the uh, year right on, on the bottom there, 2023, which is the year we're currently living in. <laughs> At least I am. I don't know if anybody else is in the future watching this. If you are, great. Um, but <laughs> as time of this recording, it's 2023. 
So, and there's a ship. I mean, of course, it's it looks just like ice because they're trying to go for that effect here, but that's not actually what it'll look like when you when you grab it. Um, over here, we got Q just kind of hovering. You can go and talk to him if you want, or you go further out and talk to the costume uh, tailor here, or talk to this little guy right here, this uh, holiday item vendor. This will take you to the holiday store. This is a new character and or not new character, but well, kind of a new character. I've had him for a few months and he doesn't have a lot in the way of those different um, different ornaments, right? So you get bullion candles or you get Terran holiday ornaments and you need some of those to grab all these different types of peace is good for business. Yes, peace is good for business. Uh, you'll need some of these items to grab, for example, like a Breen Omnidirectional Chronic Beam Array. You'll need like 50 of the earmuffs, 50 candles, 50 of the um, the Earth or Terran Holiday Ornaments, as they call them. Um, so yeah, you, you need to grab these items. And the way you do that is by playing the different events here in Q's Winter Wonderland. I'm going to actually make more videos on the different events that you can play and how to play them. But today, I want to show you the easiest way to get your daily progress in Q's Winter Wonderland towards your ship. So let's say that, you know, it's the holidays. I get it. There's a lot to do to around the holidays. Um, if you're going to get together with family or if you're going to be out for a while from work, you're working really hard, burning the midnight oil and stuff like that. Maybe you don't have time to spend, you know, a couple of hours, two or three hours here in Q's Winter Wonderland playing the wonderful games and grabbing ornaments and things like that for, for the other goodies. But you definitely want the ship, right? So the way you do that is you do this one event and this one, not event, sorry, this one activity within Q's Winter Wonderland and you can get your daily progress done and you could do it in a few minutes. So let me show you how to do that. So when I first beamed in, it was right here uh, in front of basically this uh, kind of hologram uh, of the ship. So you're gonna go to your left. You're gonna talk to this guy right here. This is a Breen and he's called the race coordinator. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to him by hitting the F key. He says you look like somebody who enjoys the challenge. And then you're gonna click right here where it says fastest game on ice. So he's gonna tell you a little bit about the event. And then it's gonna show you that you're gonna get some experience, some expertise, daily event progress. This is the one we want. And also in this case, Bajoran Gratitude Beats. Now, every time you do this race, he'll give you a different kind of item. So last time I think I got Bolian Candles, and this time I'll get the Bajoran Gratitude Beads. But what you're really here for is the daily progress. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and click Accept. Now you'd think that that will take you straight into the race that you have to do, the fastest game on ice. Um, or the fastest race on ice, I believe is what it's called. No, it's called the fastest game on ice. <laughs> it's not going to take you straight there, though. You have to pick it up. And once you pick up that mission, we're going to go down these stairs. And we're going to talk to another NPC. So there's another Breen over here. You'll see he has a sign on top that says the fastest game on ice. That's what we want to do. So we'll talk to him. We'll signal the race official. And now you're about ready for the race. Now there's gonna be a countdown here on the left. Three, two, one. And we're racing against this spider right here, okay? So then you hit your W key to go forward. Of course, S and D for the sides, or I'm sorry, A and D for the sides and then S for the back if you are, you know, playing on the keyboard. So what you wanna do is, right now I'm just kind of doing the jogging. I'm not sprinting because you are on ice and you could slip. So very easily, you want to beat the spider to the finish line and you want to stay within the borders of this racetrack as much as possible. And the way that you know where the borders are is these little lights right here. Oh, he's beating me. I need to make it. I'm going to go faster. Okay, I'm going to sprint a little bit here just because it's a little bit more straight. The path is, but then I'm going to stop sprinting because if not, I'll go out of bounds. So if you go too far outside of the bounds of these little lights right here, it'll disqualify you. It'll stop the race and you're gonna have to start it all over again. 
So if time is of the essence, definitely don't do that. Just if you're going to sprint, sprint right here in these um, areas where the where the track is a little bit more straight. But don't try to sprint if you got to make any kinds of turns because you'll just slip right out of bounds and then you'll have to start this race all over again. And again, this is just something that you want to get in and get out, especially if you don't have a lot of time and get your daily progress. So it looks here like we're very close to the finish line. I don't see the spider right now, but definitely keep an eye on whatever you're racing. Sometimes it's a spider. Sometimes it's one of those uh, Klingon wolf things and um, not a targ. It's it's the wolf one. And sometimes it's an actual brain that you race. Oh, he's catching up. All right. Now we could sprint to the finish line. Let's do that. Woo! barely made it. <laughs> I was busy explaining. I wasn't paying attention. All right. So made it to the end. It says you win and yay. But don't log off right now because you still got to turn in um, that progress that you made in order to get credit for it. So we're going to go up here. We're going to bypass this Breen right here. We don't have to talk to him again until next time. We're going to go back up these stairs to this uh, kind of ice and, and glass dome structure. We're going to talk to the first Breen that we talked to here. He's got a big old check mark on the top there. And now we're going to go ahead and basically turn in our progress, right? And we're going to get this ex experience points, expertise, that daily event progress, and then Bajoran Gratitude Beats. So we'll hit continue there. And there we are. Now, this particular um, activity goes on cooldown for 20 hours. So you can only do this activity every 20 hours. There is a cooldown timer. You can't just keep doing it, um, but that's okay. You just got to log in for a few minutes. I didn't time that, but I'm sure it was just a few minutes, maybe five of that. And so you can get in and get out really quickly. Right here, I got the Bajoran Gratitude Beads. And let's take a look and see if we got the daily progress. So where you go look for that is the mission journal. Go to where it says events. Back down here to where it says seasonal and winter, there is a progress bar here that'll show you how much progress you've actually made towards your ship. I played this game yesterday on this character, and I got my first progress bar, my first um, progress point, and today I got my second one. So so far I got two out of twenty progress. So I have another eighteen days I got to log in and do this activity again to get the ship. I'm gonna get my first completely free tier six ship without having to uh, convert um, my dilithium to Zen. And um, that's pretty neat. I just got to log in every day for the next 18 days, do my daily progress here and grab that ship. By the way, it's going to looks like it's going to be a pretty decent ship. So if you know, if you have the time, I wouldn't sleep on this one. Just go ahead and log in real quick. Do your daily progress to grab that ship. It looks like it's going to be really decent, especially on the free-to-play level, it looks like a like a ship that could could be very useful. Stay tuned because I will be doing other videos on Q's Winter Wonderland and the different activities that you can play and how to play them. Live long and prosper, and see you in the next one.